Meghan Markle has encountered another hurdle in the launch of her lifestyle brand, American Riviera Orchard. The Duchess of Sussex had planned to unveil her new venture early next year, time to coincide with a Netflix series linked to the project. However, an unforeseen blunder regarding the company's logo has thrown a spanner in the works after officials identified an inconsistent element in the brand's design. Consequently, the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office has rejected Meghan's recent application, delaying her Hollywood aspirations. The issue lies with the in the logo. They objected to the mark, stating its description is inconsistent with the mark on the drawing, forcing the Duchess and her team to revisit their plans. Descriptions must be accurate and identify only those literal and design elements appearing in the mark. Read the official non-final action document issued by the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. The document continues, in particular, the current mark description indicates that the letter appears in the mark. However, the letter is now clearly visible, or highly stylized, that it is unrecognizable as a letter. Furthermore, the description is incomplete because it does not describe all the elements in the mark. The document recommended some necessary modifications. The following description is suggested, if accurate. The mark consists of a double-lined octagon enclosing the stylized and overlapping letters R and incorporating decorative and looping lines. The latter R contains a stylized flower at the top of the letter, the statement read. Megan has faced additional hurdles with the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. Her trademark application was previously turned down, as the office forbids businesses from trademarking geographic locations. American Riviera, the nickname for the Montecito area where Meghan lives with Prince Harry, may undergo a name change. An insider hinted that Meghan's team are currently considering alternative names. The source suggested that Meghan might emulate Kim Kardashian and rename her business, after its launch. The team are thinking of backups, as we speak just in case. They've been put into a bit of a last-minute spin, but they're not too worried because they are aware that Kim K also changed her brand name after launch and it still did amazingly well. Meghan Markle was reportedly left feeling humiliated after an alleged snub from Kris Jenner. An insider shared, Kris has a lot on her plate, but ultimately people can't help but wonder if she's dropped them because she's seen the disastrous opinion polls on the Sussexes. The source also revealed, no doubt Harry and Meghan felt they were lowering their standards a little by associating with the Kardashians, so to end up being rejected by them is a pretty big blow. Meghan had eventually come around to the idea and was excited to be working with Kardashians.